I think Joe Biden's an imposter. Look at this picture from 1972 when he first became senator. The signature on the left is from the picture from 1972. The official Joe Biden signature is available for sale on Amazon, and that is what it looks like on the right. When I superimpose the official signature on top of his autograph from 1972, they look very similar. This is another example of an autograph you can buy of Joe Biden from Amazon. When we superimpose them on top of each other, you can see that they are a very similar match. This is Joe Biden's signature. It looks from 1987. It might be 1981, but in any event, we'll superimpose on the next slide so you can see the difference. Not much of a difference to the signature from the official and from the postcard. However, his current signature on executive orders is on the right and it does not match at all. Here I've superimposed the executive order signature on top of the 1972 signature and as you can see it doesn't match at all. There's an R instead of Joe and there's a junior where he never signed junior before. Here are all those signatures together in one place. is not like the others one of these things doesn't belong here are additional signature specimens from 2008 on the left 2016 in the center they're very close to each other but they do not match what's on the on the signature specimen on the right from 2021 when we superimpose the official signature on top of the examples from 2008 and 2016 um, that you can tell they're very close, but on 2021, not even hardly close at all. And here you can see the imposter has signed a scribbly, terrible script that doesn't match any of the previous signatures. And some people will say, well, his signature changed because he got old. And what you need to know is that I have experience. My mother had a brain tumor and she also had dementia. Her signature never changed. The official signature is superimposed on top of this executive order and of course it does not match. Here are all the signatures we've looked at. The two at the top are fakes and the three at the bottom are real. Now we'll look at a facial comparison. He has detached earlobes in 1972 and no cleft chin. Here he is again in 2009 where he has detached earlobes and no cleft chin. In 2015, two different pictures here, his earlobes are detached and there is no cleft chin. Same thing on the far right. And when we look at geriatric Joe, he clearly has a cleft chin or cleft in his chin and his earlobes are attached. And in addition, on the right-hand side, you again can see the attached earlobe, the cleft chin, and whatever the hell is going on with his forehead. Real Joe on the left when he was younger. Real Joe in the center when he was older. The imposter on the right. Who is this man?